my name is Sherry Lusher, and I'm the president of Hardwick Kiwanis. This is my first of two years, uh, and I've been a member since 2011. I was a key clubber and a Hazen Union student. I was the worst secretary that key club ever had, uh, and I'm I'm thankfully much much better now. I think hope <laughs> as president. Um, so I have an idea of where you are, and I also have an idea of, of, since there hasn't been pretty much Key Club in a couple of years, there's no uh, what they call institutional memory. Was anyone here in Key Club of the students that are in Key Club now? Was anyone in Key Club before? I did Key Club stuff. <laughs> you did stuff? Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm really happy that so many of you will be going to the convention in uh, April because you'll be catching up for all of you and all of the future key clubbers on what this is all about and you'll be inspired and you'll be um, ready I know you guys you'll be ready to go um, how many people who are adults here were key clubbers when they were in high school yes round of applause um, so what I would like to start with is just um, an introduction and then um, we will have our supper and then we will begin the ceremony. Um, we have a couple of folks who are pretty um, not notorious but uh, pretty famous in the Kiwanis world. We have the lieutenant governor for our whole division and we have a former governor and if you know how that works there are clubs and then there's a lieutenant governor that has um, oversight of a division and ours our Kiwanis division is division eight but it's key club division five, five. yeah um, and then then there's a governor of all of New England and Bermuda and so um, so the first person I'm going to introduce is Ron Sandville, who is a past governor. Um, and then I'm also going to introduce our present lieutenant governor, who happens to be from the Hardwick Club, um, and that's Rich Jacobs. So I'm going to start at the next table. If you guys could tell everybody who you are, and we'll go right around. John and Sally Bellavant. I've been a Qantas member since 2010. I think Sally's 2015. And I currently am the treasurer. Oh, Wendy Guyette, Qantas, about four or five years, I think. Um, director right now. I'm Sarah Tewksbury. I've been in Qantas since 2020, 2019. Um, yeah, just helping out. Uh, Harry Bissett, the elder. Uh, <laughs> Long ago, I was in Kiwanis for a good stretch when, in Ron's glory years there, and uh, just thought I'd come back and see what's going on. Wonderful. So, for all of you students who played soccer, this is your coach's father. <laughs> Sarah, let's start with you. Um, hi, I'm Sarah Collier. I am the current Hardwick president and our lieutenant governor of District 5. Um, my name is Bailey Christensen. I'm the vice president of Harvard. Hazen. Hazen. Hi, I'm Hazen. Emma Rao. <laughs> I'm the treasurer of Hazen. I'm Rebecca Fulford. <laughs> A member of Key Club. Okay. <laughs> Let's head. How about Megan and your significant other there? I'm Megan Cobalt. I'm a special educator here at Azen and the faculty advisor to the Key Club. And I'm <laughs> they know how hard that is. <laughs> and I was a two-time two Key Club president when I was in high school as well. And you want to introduce? This is my partner, Jared. Thank you. <laughs> Um, before we go to Steve, I'd like to um, mention that um, we have a uh, Harvard Humanitarian Award winner, Elizabeth Rossano, who's the director now of the 
uh, Hardwick area television. No, Hardwick access. Hardwick you say it. You say it. Hardwick community television. Yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> HCTV. Okay. And she's covering this for us. Thank you. And uh, we are missing uh, Vanessa left, but she was she's taking a picture for the, the news, newspaper as well. All right, Steve. Um, Steve Collier. I'm former Hazen student, and my daughter is Sarah. Yeah. Also, um, a, a table lab partner of mine in high school. <laughs> I'm Karen Collier. I am a Kiwanis member, past president, past Key Club member, past Key Club Lieutenant Governor, and mother of Sarah. Sure. I'm Carrie Christensen, and I'm mother to Bailey. <laughs> and I'm Debbie Clark, and I'm grandmother to Bailey. <laughs> go ahead, we'll go right up. I'm Grace Cloutier, and I'm the webmaster of <laughs> <laughs> I'm Meg Gifford. I'm just here to support my friends. <laughs> Thanks, you. Thank you. Um, I'm Rebecca Cloutier, and I am secretary for Key Club this year. Uh, I'm Chloe Cloutier, and I'm just a member of Key Club. Uh, I'm Robert Cloutier, and I have too many kids here to count. <laughs> <laughs> I parked my truck at your house once. <laughs> uh, I'm Marie Cloutier, and I'm the mother of these three, um, and I was a former Key Club or many offices um, and district officer. I'm Heather Winston, Emma's mom, and I was in Key Club with Mike. <laughs> I'm Cheryl Lumston, and I'm Emma's grandmother. <laughs> I'm the better half. <laughs> I'm Larry Loveman, retired dairy farmer, thank God. <laughs> and <laughs> grandfather. And grandfather. Next is if we would all come into this room for just a quick video, then we'll come out and we'll do the rest of the ceremonies. Does that sound all right? Good evening, everyone. I am so pleased to be able to address you tonight. I regret that I am unable to be there in person but my other obligations are keeping me here in Canaan. Let me begin by congratulating you on the growth and rebirth of your club following the pandemic. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Renee Marcheseau, and I currently hold the position of District Financial Counselor for the New England and Bermuda District. I took over for Mr. Tim Daly, who held this position for decades. I was born and raised in Canaan, Vermont, not far from Hardware, where I continue to live. I served as the Key Club Advisor for the Canaan Memorial High School for nearly 20 years, and I'm currently a member of the Kiwanis Club of Colbert, New Hampshire. I understand the struggles that come with being one of only a handful of Key Clubs in Vermont, sometimes feeling isolated and disconnected from the rest of New England in the district. I implore you to reach out to me anytime that you have any questions or concerns as your club continues to grow and serve the community and students of Hazen Union and Hardwick. I understand that you have someone interested in becoming the Lieutenant Governor for Division 5. That is very exciting news. I also currently hold the position for the Avery Advisor for the Division 5, and I look forward to working on projects and traveling together in the future. Hardwick holds a special place in my heart, since as many of you know, that is where my mentor and inspiration for becoming more involved in Key Club, Mr. Whitney, called home. Mr. Whitney is recognized yearly at our district conference with an award in his name, the Leader of Leader Awards. His award application reads that Mr. Whitney served as the administrator of the New England and Bermuda District of Key Clubs for 41 years before passing away in 2019. He was a longtime member of the Kiwanis Club of Hardwick, and he believed that if Key Club and the other service leadership programs were the only Kiwanis initiatives, Kiwanis International would still be the greatest service organization in the world. Mr. Whitney inspired thousands of students over his four decades of service, and he created a safe and positive space for Key Club members to grow into mature young adults and respected leaders. 
I have no doubt that if he was here today, he would be beaming with pride over the club, your club, and your commitment to continue to grow and serve. He would also not want me to go on any further about him, so I won't. Tonight, we celebrate you, the volunteers and members of a worldwide organization, Key Club. You have voluntarily, chose, voluntarily chosen to be a part of something to make a difference, whether it be helping the homeless, making sure the youth in your community have proper mentors, volunteering in your school, or standing up for a cause you believe in. You have and will continue to make a difference. It does not matter how great or small, you will make a difference. So in closing, congratulations to your new members and officers. I know that you have six members registered to attend DECON next month. This is a wonderful opportunity, as it is the first time we have been able to hold this event in two years. You will come back with new ideas and tons of enthusiasm. Make your enthusiasm contagious. Share what you learned. Reach out to the other club that you will meet that weekend, and don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Thank you again for allowing me to address you tonight, and I look forward to meeting each and every one of you in the very near future. Congratulations. Let's start the evening off with um, Governor Bra leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Over there is the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. If this were a Kiwanis meeting, you can have a seat. If this were a Kiwanis meeting, our next order of business would be to do happy dollars. Do you know what that is? I love happy dollars. <laughs> so you bring a dollar. It could be sad, too, or anxious, I don't know. And, and you tell some, something fairly personal about um, what you're happy about. Um, and then the club gets, collects all those dollars. And over the course of a year, that adds up to uh, a good chunk of on money that you can spend on things like your trip. Um, so let me now introduce uh, Rich Jacobs, Lieutenant Governor Rich Jacobs, and he and um, your advisor, Megan, are, are going to um, say a little bit about what's, what duties are and have you guys come up and get pinned. Does that sound about like what you're going to sure. do? Sure. I'll be doing some of the reading, and then uh, the two of you can hand out the... Uh, recognitions of the pins, if that's Great. acceptable to you. Come on up here. Yeah. And while I don't have a dollar on me, my happy dollar is how exciting it is to be here this evening and to see the Key Club thriving as it is. Six or seven of you headed to the convention, that is just awesome. That is amazing, and that you have nine full-time member, nine members of the club. Mm -hmm. Going back just because of COVID and everything else the last few years, it is just so awesome to see the club thriving. And I, I, I thank Sherry Lucher as president of the Hardwick Kiwanis Club for encouraging the formation of the of the club, uh, re re reju rejuvenation of the key club at Hazen, and very much want to thank uh, Megan Koba as a teacher here at Hazen for jumping in and taking the, the lead on making it happen, although taking the lead is, is all of you, the, the students here at Hazen, so welcome and congratulations. My name is Rich Jacobs. I've been a Hardwick Kiwanian since 2011. I was brought in by Sherry, Sherry Lucher. And uh, yeah, I'm just honored to uh, be here this evening. We welcome all of you Key Club members, Kiwanians as well, distinguished guests and families. Today, we celebrate and induct our newest members and officers of Hazen Union High School's Key Club. We are pleased to welcome them to their club and are looking forward to a wonderful year of service and fellowship with them. 
Given the events of the last few years, the Hazen Union Key Club has had some difficulties staying rejuvenated, and tonight is the night of our official rejuvenation. So welcome. For those that may not know what Key Club is, Key Club is an international student-led organization that provides its members with opportunities to provide service, build character, and develop leadership. Core values of Key Club are leadership, character building, caring, and inclusiveness. Members of Key Club develop initiative and leadership skills by serving their schools and communities. This little club, they say this little club of nine members, that is more than a little club. This big club of nine members, and I know it will grow, is part of, of a much larger organization which is broken into districts. We are part of the New England and Bermuda district. How wonderful is that, to be in a district that's not only New England, but Bermuda. We already have chaperones ready if we have to go to, to Bermuda for anything. Come up, come up with a trip. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you obviously heard the message from, from somebody at the, the district welcoming you all, and you've obviously heard the history of Hardwick and Kiwanis and Key Club with George Whitney, 40 plus years that he was involved overseeing key clubs in the district. That is just amazing. Uh, first, I'd like to recognize our members. So we're gonna start right in here. Being a member of Key Club means that you are stepping up to be a leader within your community. You recognize and welcome people of all backgrounds. You are compassionate towards others and you display acts of kindness and integrity in your day-to-day -day life. Please come up to receive your certificate and pin when your name is called. Chloe Cloutier. <laughs> Rebecca Fulford. Madison Langdell. Aiden Laundry. Not here. Grace Cloutier. Emma Rowell. Rebecca Cloutier. I'm seeing a pattern here. <laughs> Bailey Christensen. Congratulations to all of you as members that it, you are the core obviously of the key club and I know that you will be successful. Oh and did I forget somebody? I apologize. Oh, one more. The most, <laughs> not most important, but <laughs> Sarah Collier. <laughs> Sorry Sarah. Apologies. I wanted to get a build up for you there. <laughs> My apologies. As for officers, having been elected to the offices of President, Vice President, Secretary, Treasurer, Bulletin Editor, and Webmaster, constitute a board of trustees and consequently have joint duties to perform in addition to their individual member duties. They are responsible for the administration of the affairs of the club. They must determine the policies and activities of the club, work with prospective members, and continue to develop a strong club.
They are charged with the control of all its finances. In brief, all the general management of their organization rests upon them. It is important that they are present at all the regular and specially called meetings of the board and that they take an active part in all the deliberations. Express their opinions concerning club affairs by considering the club first, centering always around a single desire for the best welfare of their key club. We would like now to introduce to you and recognize if they could step up as they're called, your newly elected Hazen Union Key Club officers. First person I understand is not present, Aiden Laundry has been elected to serve as club editor. Unfortunately, Aiden could not be with us this evening. However, as editor, they are vital to the key club because they are the advertiser, communicator, and general publicity person of the club. They have the role of making key club well known within the school, the community, and beyond. So let's thank Aiden. Thank you. Grace Cloutier. You have been elected to serve the club as webmaster. As webmaster, you will be responsible for the club's digital footprint. You will create digital media, share content on our social media and work in partnership with the editor to reach even more people to share the word about Hazen Union's Key Club. Wow. Thank you. Emma Rowell has been elected to serve the club as treasurer. The role of treasurer in a club certainly requires financial ability but demands personal integrity as well. Their duties will be to oversee the funds of the club to keep proper records and to distribute them when needed. They are vital to the financial stability of this club. And as I know from the Hardwick Kiwanis Club, just the involvement of the, the treasurer is just immense, that they're there at, at all the meetings and letting the club know what kind of finances there are to be able to allocate. So congratulations. Um, to, to Emma. <laughs> Rebecca Cloutier has been elected to serve as secretary. The job of secretary is one of the most challenging of duties. It is their responsibility to keep a careful and accurate record of the activities of the club and preserve the records for future further reference. You must keep a careful record of membership, attendance, and minutes of all meetings of the club. As secretary, your role is crucial to the success of the club. It's so much more, again, as I've learned in Hardwick Kiwanis, than just taking minutes of things going on. There are just so many activities or needs that the secretary is keeping track of for the club. <laughs> so congratulations, Rebecca. <laughs> Vice President Bailey Christensen. <laughs> you have been elected to serve your club as vice president, as next in office to the president, you became her, you become their understudy. You may be asked at any time to step in in their absence or incapacity. Let me then ask you to give careful attention to what I am about to say to the elected president and to consider the remarks as being addressed to you as well. So in other words, the remarks that are said for the president really pertain also as well for the vice president because they can be asked to step in at any point to take take over for meetings or activities or events or as needed. 
So again, congratulations to Bailey. And don't worry, I won't forget you again, Sarah. <laughs> President Sarah Collier. It is a pleasure to welcome you as the elected chief executive of this organization. You are the most highly honored of all its officers and with the greatest honor you have been given the highest authority and heaviest responsibility. Presiding at meetings is the easiest and least of your tasks, but even to this easiest part, you must give careful preparation and alert attention. The need for careful preparation for the meetings themselves indicates only one of your many tasks. You must give serious thought to the selection of your committees, seeking counsel from others, and consulting with your fellow officers and Kiwanis sponsor. You must keep in constant touch with your committees and advise them in their work. You must be ready to suggest to the Board of Trustees such plans as you may think would benefit the club and you must remain unruffled should your suggestions be rejected. I urge you in your leadership to keep one goal at the center of all your plans and endeavors, namely to make the Key Club more vital to its members and more serviceable to the community. Again, congratulations <laughs> to Sarah. And it's, it sounds like you're getting involved not only locally, but within the district as well. And that's, that's much appreciated. And again, also for all of you as members, to have six or seven of you of attending the convention, again, shows how much you all want to be involved in the wider aspects of Key Club. And as somebody who's been in a similar position with Kiwanis Club and other organizations as, as president, I can attest that you go in thinking, oh, I can make this happen and this happen, and you realize that you've got a whole club around you and that by entrusting that club together, you will be successful. So being a success as president is not just in taking control and taking charge, it's being able to lead and to involve everybody in the club to have them help you help the club be the best that it can. So again, congratulations, Sarah, and congratulations, everybody else. Okay. At this time, I would like each of you to make your membership pledge by standing up and repeating after me. Everybody, please rise, all the key club members. Should they raise their hand or? We'll have you raise your hand, how's that? <laughs> Repeat after me. I pledge on my honor to uphold the objects of Key Club International. To uphold the objects of Key Club International. To build my home, school, and community. To build my home, school, and community. To serve my nation and God. To serve my nation and God. And combat all forces which tend to undermine these institutions, <laughs> which tend to undermine these institutions. I was afraid they were going to do that, make it too long. <laughs> so um, now it is with great pride that I induct you as members of the Hazen Union High School Key Club. And Key Club expects great things from your continued membership of the Kiwanis family, just as we know that membership will bring many rewarding experiences into your life. Congratulations. Please join me, everybody, in congratulating them. Then I wanted to add a couple of things about George Whitney. Um, 
he, he was my key club advisor. In the Stone Age, when the floor of the cafeteria was an orange carpet. Um, and uh, so in his passing, um, the Kiwanis has voted to uh, name a scholarship for him for key clubbers. Um, and so you can, when you are a senior, you can uh, apply for that. And uh, the, the Kiwanis will uh, be able to choose one of you. Um, there is also another scholarship in, in the name of Dave Dow. He was a longtime math teacher here at Hazen and a president, a past president of Hazen. And he died a little bit before um, George did. And so there are a couple of scholarships now that we have, just to let you know that. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about, um, George Whitney, to just kind of get you an, um, in the, an idea. Um, we went, several of us went to um, a Kiwanis convention. And it, at the Kiwanis convention, convention, the governor of Circle K, which is the college version, and the governor of Key Club, Emily is her name. I can't think of her last name. Um, but you'll see her when you go in April. Um, they, they speak. And what Emily said was <clears throat> she reminded us that over the last decade or so, um, this district, Bermuda and New England, Key Club, has raised money, along with another organization partner, um, to build two schools in Vietnam. And they've done it. Um, one of the schools is in a mountainous area. And in Vietnam, the roads do not have the same rules that we have here in the United States. And so several students walking from their home to the school had been killed by a car trying to just, you know, get by, I guess, I don't know. And so they realized that um, there probably needed to be a dorm at that particular school. And so they decided that they would raise more money and they're almost there. They're going to tell you that when you go, um, to build a dorm for students to save their lives when they're walking on the, on the roads. And they're naming that dorm after George Whitney. Yeah. So that's how well known he is. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to say was something I should have said in the very beginning. Do you know why we ate pie all night? Sarah. It's March. Or 14th, so <laughs> it's 314. That's the digit of 3.14 is, is pi, pi, pi. And so it's pi day. So happy pi day, everyone, and have a great evening.